Welcome to Golf Tips on Shaw TV. I'm your host, uh, Jim Claggett, here at Innisfil Golf Club. 27 holes that are just spectacular, each one of them. I can't even pick a favorite, although this one behind us is a pretty good one. Joining me is Jim Boomer, and Jim, uh, with 27 holes, you can manage some uh, some good golf tournaments here, and you've got a couple coming up uh, later in the in, in, uh, in August. Yes, well, these these two I'm going to mention are actually in September. Uh, the, the Sunday, uh, September 15th, is our mixed open, and we started off with a uh, horse race the night before so on the night of the 14th there's a couples horse race and then the next day uh, is um, we play it all over the 27 holes you only play 18 holes but it's a scotch two ball and we get couples from all over to come to to this event we can we can take like 170 competitors that day and it's just an excellent uh, day to to uh, get out and play uh, some golf with the better half it's an 11 o'clock shotgun, um, but uh, on a, for a Sunday, it's just a, a really nice uh, event. Uh, not uh, not particularly overly competitive, and uh, and yet, so if you're if you're interested in a real fun couples event, the uh, 15th of September here at Innisfail. All right, now I'm going to guess that some of those people are going to be in a bunker at some point in time, and they want to know how to get out of it. Well, Jim's going to show us exactly how. Lots of different lies in the bunker. We always want to make sure the ball's in a position that we can catch the sand behind the ball with the club on the way down. Our, our objective here is to drive sand under the ball. In order to do that, we, we really need to have a golf club that's in a position where it's moving downward and it's, uh, it's causing the sand to be driven under the golf ball. All kinds of different shots can be hit from, from the sand as long as you have that initial objective of catching the, the sand on the way down. And of course, the best way to do that is don't add anything in terms of tension to your swing. Try to have as light a hold on the golf club as you possibly can. 